Yeah, sure. So basically, that's our FZ G1, our Windows 8 touchpad. Basically, what it has is a high-resolution outdoor display or Retina outdoor display. It uh, has 224 PPI, so it gives you quite a high resolution paired with outdoor capabilities, which are a high brightness display with 800 nits and a low reflection rate, which comes down to 4%. So that display is ideal to use on daylight, out, outside, on, on the move. On top of this, we are talking here about the rack device. It has a good proper magnesium frame, frame which gives you the protection you need in the field. You have the corner guards, which are out of elastomer, reducing the impact shock and standing out a little bit. In matter of fact, you can drop the device on, on the corner guards and it's uh, basically the corner guards uh, absorbing the drop mm -hmm. and the device is not falling as may, maybe other devices on its glass itself. That's a big uh, technology uh, jump we're doing here. In terms of specification, we have here uh, an uh, Intel Ivy Bridge ULV incorporated with 1.9 GHz, so quite a strong uh, CPU, which gives you sufficient graphic and, and horsepower uh, performance. You have here the function buttons, which are programmable, and, uh, which can allow you to quickly navigate in the fields throughout your, your applications. On top of the screen, you have here um, the uh, webcam and the ambient light sensor for automatically to regulate the backlight if, if you like. When I uh, look at the bottom of the device, you see here the docking connector. It's a proper business bottom docking connector which allows you quickly to dock in and dock out this device. Here, optional, uh, you were able to incorporate a dual yeah. so outdoor, uh, a dual external uh, antenna connector, so you can route GPS or 3G out of the device. Uh, always there, important wherever you want to mount that in, in vehicle, cars, and, and somewhere else. On the top of the device, you see here first of all the the fan, which is rugged and uh, completely water sealed. But here on the top, we have the so-called configuration port. Now it's equipped with SD card, but optionally you can incorporate a second uh, USB 3.0 SD card. Uh, barcode reader um, as well as zero port or LAN. So that gives you the ultimate of, of flexibility which our customer want and, and, and uh, deserve. On the side of the device you see the, the standard ports which are the uh, uh, power plug, USB and an HDMI port. Yeah, it's yeah, also yeah. with that uh, sealed door. It's protected against uh, dust and, and water ingress. On the back of the device, you see here uh, we have uh, a high quality backcam with a dual LED. The flash allows you also in dark environment to make uh, good high quality pictures and a big space is taking the battery because with the standard six cell battery we want to provide the customer eight hours one shift battery battery life on an optional base you can even incorporate a high capacity battery with nine cell which brings you up to 17 hours if needed finally also here standard digitizer pan is uh, attached to the device and this uh, digitizer pan allows you to, to operate uh, in the field. It has 256 different uh, pressure levels. It allows you high, uh, high and precise uh, um, uh, data input and navigation and also electronic signature is possible on a high level of legal binding uh, uh, degree and level. So all in one, that's our, our business solution 
uh, which we which we're offering and which will, will come out by the by, by the end of February, beginning of March. And just check what the um, the thickness and the weight. So we're talking here so about 1.1 kilogram. So yeah. basically, uh, it's a device which you're comfortable can can hand in in one hand, and the thickness. I must say, I yes, not have the specs present so here, but uh, um, it's also no, rather no, no, comfortable, yeah, and you also really can comfortably grab it in yeah. in in one hand if if needed. Thank you very much. Welcome, pleasure.